necessary to respond to their needs. So there's been a, a range of expectations created, not just once by BHP, but twice. And uh, that's why I say that when we approach the next negotiations, um, we are going to be wary, and we, we have made it very clear to BHP that a number of South Australian businesses and communities have suffered uh, be losses be because, associated with Because next time around, you don't want to raise people's hopes the way that they were raised. Well, I think we, I think it's natural for us to uh, take account of our experience. I mean, it would be unwise not to. Are you saying that it's BHP who pumped this up as the biggest project in the world, the, 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 the hugest thing, the best thing that could ever happen to South Australia, and not Mike Ram? You, 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 are you arguing that the state and conservative members of the BHP board and, and their CEOs uh, are the ones who were leading tours around this great no. big hole in Chile. It was, it was... No, no, look, I, I, look, I accept that there might be some rhetoric around the edges. Some the rhetoric truth, around the edges. The, no, but the truth of it is that they came to us with a proposition for the largest open cut mine in the world. They also worked with us to deal with the capabilities that would be necessary to make that happen. There have been a range of businesses around this state that have been encouraged to get their systems up to speed so that they could meet the needs of their rock experience. And remember the last time this happened, the last time this happened, we had companies that went broke uh, on the strength of this. Now, they, they didn't complain about it. Um, they, they made business decisions.